Nvidia just busted Devin's using a simple workflow with DeepSeq R1. In this video, I'm going to show you how Nvidia engineers used DeepSeq R1 in a Devin-like fashion to create an extremely good programmer better than a human being who can create a niche task, which in this case is GPU kernel programming. So this is not something that you would see every single day, but this is a very niche task and Nvidia engineers managed to crack that open using DeepSeq R1. Before we see the actual workflow, let us understand what is the task at hand. So the task at hand is to create optimized attention kernels and attention is a key concept in transformers. Now, one thing that you want to do here is to create a lower level implementation an optimized lower level implementation. That is exactly what they call as GPU kernel to prevent any runtime errors arising from simple implementations like out of memory errors. So basically what you want to create here is you want to create a program that interacts with the low level components of a computer, in this case, a graphical processing unit that has to be computationally effective and also without any error. And these are some different types of attention that you can see. Like for example, if you have got an image, it does certain different things for a multimodal model. So now what Nvidia engineers summoned DeepSeq R1 to do is to do this GPU kernel programming. Now this takes a lot of skill, like as you know that not everybody is a GPU kernel programmer. So what Nvidia engineers did is they used a simple prompt here. Please write a GPU attention kernel to support relative position encodings. Um, if you're not familiar with relative position encodings, this is one of the things that people use to extend the token limit or context window of LLMs. If you search for an option called ROPE, R -O -P -E, you would come across something like relative positional encodings implement the relative position encoding on the fly within the kernel the complete code should be written including necessary modification use the following function to compute the relative position encoding and then it gives you some details around how they can do it when implementing the kernel please keep in mind that a constant scaling factor some other information and there is a formula please provide the updated complete updated kernel code that incorporates these changes ensuring that the relative position encoding is applied efficiently within the kernel operation. This is a very simple prompt that they've given. So, so something like you and I would do. So I went to DeepSeq R1 and gave the same exact prompt. And this made DeepSeq R1 to think at least for six minutes in this particular case, 358 seconds, it decided to think to come up with this particular answer. And it finally gave me a Python code that would do exactly the same. The only thing here is that I'm not doing any sort of verification, but this is not what Nvidia just did. What Nvidia's true magic here is to create a workflow that is doing something what we call as inference time scaling for generating optimized GPU kernels so rather than using it in zero shot setting, which we did right now. What Nvidia engineers very cleverly orchestrated is you give the initial prompt just like we gave and it goes to DeepSeq R1. Now it enters a new system where you have got a verifier and the verifier basically checks if whatever the code that the DeepSeq R1 creates, whether it meets the criteria, the computational efficiency, whether it is without any error, whether it runs properly, whether it fulfills the objective that is verified by the verifier here. If it does verify, then it just like goes into the GPU optimized kernel. But if it doesn't verify, then it goes back, refines the prompt, whatever it misses, and then creates the prompt again, formats the prompt, gives it back to the DeepSeq R1. This is the age old feedback system that human beings have been creating forever. And this simple workflow has worked efficiently for Nvidia engineers. In fact, that they are saying that when you compare it with existing code, which humans have created, and the Nvidia workflow with DeepSeq R1, you can see that across all these different tasks, you can see there has been an improvement for causal mask. There is like probably 10% improvement document mask. There is 10% improvement for relative positional encoding. There is almost like 50% improvement. And then you can see that the improvement has been across all these attention kernels, GPU kernels that the Nvidia workflow in this case, like I would call it Devin killer created using DeepSeq R1. In fact, another very interesting aspect here is that there is a benchmark called kernel bench. This is to understand how efficiently large language models can create these kind of GPU kernels. 
and there are like different levels of tests. So you've got level one, which has 100 tasks, level two, which has 100 tasks. And what the workflow that NVIDIA created managed to do is it produced 100% correct code for level one problems and 96% correct code for level two problem, which is quite insane. And this is not like any random engineer can do. These are niche, highly efficient, computationally efficient programming tasks. And uh, this particular workflow, the test time scaling of DeepSeek R1 with the verifier managed to do this successfully. And if you see here, this is the most important part of this entire presentation, which is as they increase the inference time budget, you can see the accuracy of this system solving level one problem has increased. If the inference budget was only 2.5 minutes, then it managed to solve 60% of problems. But when the inference time was 20 per, uh, inference time was 20 minutes, it managed to solve 100% problem. So the most important thing is how long you are going to let it think. And that has been the key here for NVIDIA to create a Devin killer or a Devin like system using one of the simplest workflows that you can see on internet. What does it mean for you and I? I think this is a testament to say that it is not very difficult to create something like Devin. As we are exploring more and more in test time scaling, this approach could actually result in much more intelligent system, especially for coding in niche languages, which are not very common with zero shot problems. I would love to know more about how they build the verifier and how they refine the prompt. We do not have that information, but we can look forward to see more research around how you can build a closed loop feedback based system using deep seek R1 and then solve existing problems that were not solved before. Pretty exciting time. Let me know what you feel about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.